Welcome back to another Got Tech video. This video is on how to create a Bitmoji scene in Google Slides using six easy steps. Check it out. Step one will be to go to Google and type in Bitmoji the Chrome extension. That's going to bring you to the web store and you're going to want to add this Chrome extension. You could tell if you properly did this by seeing this icon up here. When you're done adding it, you want to click on this uh, icon and link it to your Gmail address and then start working on your avatar. When you're done with that, I'll see you in Google Slides. So step number two is to create a Google Slides presentation. To do that, go to your Google Chrome, uh, go to the waffle or the tic-tac-toe board, and click on slides. When you've done that, you'll have a blank slides presentation. We have a blank canvas back here. And that's going to head us into step number three, which is to create a background that we want to work with. So how do we uh, bring in a background uh, from the outside into Google Slides? This is nothing more than just adding a picture. There are a couple ways that we could do it. First, in Google Slides, if you go to Tools, uh, and you go and click on the Explore button, it's going to bring up the side search bar. Right here, we could type in whatever we want. Uh, for example, if I want to do Classroom, I can do this over here, hit Enter, and click on Images, and it's going to bring me a bunch of classrooms. Now, because my Bitmoji is a cartoon, I don't really want to be in a real-life classroom, so I suggest putting cartoon after that. From here, you could select whatever image that you like. So you could just go to the positive uh, sign here, and you could add that into your presentation if that's the one that you're happy with. Now, the other way of doing it is to go to a, a Google search bar and type in what you're looking for. So I typed in whiteboard and floor cartoon, and I found uh, this option right here, which I really like. So what I'm going to do is right click on that, save image as, go over uh, back to my presentation, and I'm going to hit insert and upload to the computer, upload from the computer. So I already saved this image, and now all I have to do is go find it. And I know I put it in downloads, and it's down here. So we could go ahead and add this image to the background. So there we have it. Now I have to resize it a little bit just to fit the uh, width and height. So there is my background. This was step number three. Step number four is next and that's going to have to do with bringing in all the extras that you want to decorate your classroom or your Bitmoji scene here. So just like I search for the background, I could also search for other things that I want to put in here. So if I want to put a chair in here, I can do that. Okay, so if I look at these, this one kind of fits, so I'm going to hit the plus there, and that's going to bring in the chair. I'm going to resize this chair, and I want it over here in this corner. Okay, one thing that I don't like about this chair is the fact that it's facing the wrong way. Okay, so what if I want that chair, but I want the reverse image of that? What we could do is right-click on the chair, go to Format Options and it's going to bring up this big bar here. If we want to recolor it, we can do that. If I want it gray, I can go ahead and do that. Um, I really like the blue, so I'm going to leave it there. But it's still not solving the problem that I want it to face the other way, so we're going to click on Size and Rotation, and we're going to hit the Flip. And that's going to flip it, and that's exactly how I want it. All right, so what I'm going to do now, just like I did right there, is I'm going to add a couple other uh, props to this classroom, and then I'll meet you back into our Google Slides presentation. All right, so what I did is I added a desk here as well, and this is where I'm going to put my Bitmoji. I want him to be on that desk, so what I'm going to do is go up to Bitmoji, and I'm going to search uh, sit or sitting. All right, I could choose one of these two. I like this one, so what you got to do is right click on it, copy image, go back to your presentation, control V, 
and I'm going to resize this a little bit and I'm going to drag it over to the table until I get it where I want it. That looks good. So that's where I'm going to put it. So next I got a, in step five, what is our purpose behind this? And this is something that you could think about ahead of time, but I already kind of knew where I was going with this. Uh, I want to create a way of uh, providing my students with information as to what they have to do for an assignment, or maybe it's a weekly assignment. And that's what I'm going to use the whiteboard here. I'm going to use this to create a way of getting uh, information out to them for the week. They know exactly what they have to do. So the first thing that I want to do here is I want to uh, insert some word art. So we go to insert, we go to word art, and say I want this to say uh, weekly events or whatever. I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to format it the way that I want it uh, to be. So I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, and I'll see you in a second. Alright, so I formatted my word art. Uh, I had to doctor it up a little bit. So I, I wanted to change the fill color and the border color and then also the size by just dragging um, the corner here. So there's uh, this week's agenda. And what I want to do here is I want to provide them with three different kind of assignments. They're small assignments, but they're three different. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a picture to represent each one of those assignments first. And I'm not just going to get any picture. I like to bring these alive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a GIF file. So once again, uh, we could go to Explore and you could type in uh, whatever you want here. So my assignment is going to be on uh, gladiators in ancient Rome. So i rather go out to uh, Google and find uh, what I need them to be. I, I, I just, it gives you a little bit more options at one time and I want to maximize my uh, opportunity to see the right GIF here. So I come out here and I know that they're going to be reading a book for their first assignment. So I type in book GIF. Alright, I could go through these uh, and we could click on them and some of these are gifts. So here's book pages waving. Uh, we got others as well. And you can pick whichever one you want. So I'm going to find a GIF for books flipping because I know that they're going to be reading a book. The other one that I really want is a gladiator uh, GIF. And I want it to have to do with the uh, fight scene. All right. It doesn't matter which part of the fight scene. So. I really like the thumbs up, thumbs down stuff, so I'll probably choose one of those. And the last thing that I'm going to look at is a Venn diagram. But real quick, uh, how do you save one of these? It's the same way as you're saving a picture. You find which one you want, you right click on it, and you save the image as. And you're going to bring all those over into your Google Slides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my three images and I'm going to put them in there and I'm going to also put captions under each one of these images. So in this step, which is step number five, I brought uh, this image alive using GIFs. And as you can see, you can see them moving. I just want to show you real quick how you can kind of make them pop a little bit more. Notice these have borders all around. You could do this with uh, pictures or text boxes or GIFs. Just click on them. Uh, I like to change this to 3, and I like to change the color to whatever color I think looks good. And it kind of matches the chair and uh, my uh, suit jacket there. So I think this uh, looks pretty good. So that brings us to step um, number 6, uh, which is to publish. But before we get into step number 6, the one thing I want to tell you is you could even spruce this up even more. And the way that you could do that is, say we want to give them the chapters. We have uh, chapters four and five from the book. Say we have the, the license for um, the digital copy and you want to link them straight to chapter four and five. You could do that uh, just by going up and attaching the link or inserting a link to it. Uh, I'll show you that with the battle scene here. So what I did 
uh, is I found the battle scene that I want them to look at. You hit right click, you hit copy link address. And now what we can do is hyperlink it right in here. So they don't actually have to leave this slide. They can get everything they need from there. All right, so now what I might do is go up to the top here, change this so it fits everything else. Um, and uh, color wise, it goes with the scheme. You can change it to whatever you want. Same thing here, if you have a Google Doc and you want to bring that in, you could easily attach uh, that Google Doc by just inserting the link. All right, so let's go into the last step, which is publishing. Uh, what I like to do when I, when I do these uh, backgrounds is I like to keep a collection of all the stuff that I've used so I could reuse it. And that's what I have at the bottom of this. I have all my backgrounds and different images and everything. So what, what I like to do is I like to make a copy. So just file, make a copy. And I like to get the individual slide that I'm using, which is this one right here. So I made a copy of it. And notice it is only one slide. Okay, and that's important for this step. Uh, what we want to do is publish this. And you could do it in two ways. You could publish it uh, and get an embed code to put it on your website. Or you could publish it and get a link to put it into your LMS. So the way that we do this is we go to File. Uh, and we go to Publish to the Web down here. So down here we have a couple different options. If we want the embed code, we could get it. Here's a link. Uh, since it's one slide, you always want to say restart the uh, slideshow after the last slide. I check that. And here you could have it change whatever you want. If I put every minute, no one's going to notice that it's uh, restarting. So And then I hit Publish here. I do want to publish it. Once it's published, we now have this uh, link that we can use and just to show you that it works I'll open up a new one a uh, new window here and I'll put that link in there and notice that our gifts are working it's highly interactive it's personalized because I have you know my image in there my students will get a kick out of it and uh, really that's the six easy steps to uh, make yourself a bitmoji scene I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please reach out. Uh, down in the comments, I will put uh, a couple of different links. Uh, one to the Got Tech website, where you can find other templates like this one. Uh, I'll also put a template link where I'll include the background and uh, some of the Im images that I used. And uh, if you have any questions, just let me know.